So you can see on the power meter when it settles down, we're getting about uh, 180 uh, micro watts there. So about uh, 180, and it's jumping around a little bit, and that's down to the transmitter as well until it uh, warms up. But that gives us a uh, good idea. So about 180, change it to dBm minus six, minus seven dBm there. So this is the first of our mismatched antennas. Then we've got a uh, right-hand circular polarized clover leaf antenna with a left-hand circular polarized uh, helical. So let's turn on the power. And you can see there we're getting uh, 37, uh, 38, 40 uh, microwatts of power there. So it's definitely down on the uh, left-hand turn. And here it is on dBm, we're getting minus 14 dBm there, so definitely down on the power. So for this test we've got our little dipole antenna there with our left hand circular polarised helical here. Turn on the power. And it's doing a little bit better, it's doing uh, 72, 71 micro watts of power there. And it's minus 11 dBm. So you can see it's up a little bit on the uh, clover leaf uh, antenna, which was right hand, so completely opposite to the uh, helical antenna on the polarization. This one's linear, and uh, we're getting around 70 microwatts there. So finally, we've got the uh, little panel antenna, which uh, again is 3 dB, just like the uh, previous three antennas, but this time this one's a directional antenna, so it's throwing uh, the majority of its power uh, in this direction directly onto the uh, helical antenna but again it's linear polarized so it's not matched with the uh, helical antenna so let's give this a little test and you can see there we've uh, kind of uh, about uh, 172, 170 I'll just let it settle down a little bit about 100 and uh, say 180 micro watts there so in order to get the same kind of performance as the matched clover leaf antenna with the uh, left hand circular polarized and the uh, left hand circular polarized helical antenna we need to use a directional antenna to overcome that mismatch and throw the majority of its energy in this direction just to compete with uh, two matched antennas so hopefully i showed there in this uh, quick little video just how much power you can lose by using mits mismatched antennas and uh, you know I do get comments from people saying I've uh, got a little dipole antenna and use it with my helical and it uh, works fine but uh, as you saw in this demonstration um, how much power you can uh, lose by uh, not using the uh, correct antennas or even the correct polarization of uh, left hand and uh, right hand uh, antennas you know it, it really does drop off quite a lot and uh, yet yeah, it, it is right to say that uh, this antenna will work with uh, this helical antenna but uh, hopefully this uh, visual demonstration just shows you how much power you can lose by uh, you know not using the correct antennas so if you did enjoy this video please give it a uh, thumbs up any comments or questions uh, drop them below and uh, hopefully you'll join me on the next one